Hey, Game Makers! Today, we're going to learn how to do step sounds. There's actually a long and complicated reason for why we're doing step sounds, but the short version is, I woke up, looked outside, saw snow, and decided to go back to bed. But instead, we're here making games. We'll be making it so when your characters are, say, running through grass, wading through water, or trudging through snow, the appropriate sound effect will play to make it sound like you're actually making noise in some grass, water, or snow or anything else you can possibly think of. First, make sure to put the sound effects you'll be using under your game's audio slash SE folder. You'll also need to make sure you're using the correct file types, .m4a and or .ogg. As for the sound effects themselves, I literally just got these off of a free sound effects site I found on Google. So if you need some, eh, it's probably a good place to start. Let's head to our plugins. We'll be using the Yep Region Events plugin. If you do not yet have the Superway Awesome plugin, you can download it at the amazing Yonfly site full of magic and epicness. And, you know, plugins and stuff. The way this plugin works is, you assign a region number to a common event, and every time you step on a tile set to that region, the common event will activate. This can be used with much more than just making step sounds. But for now, that's all we're going to be using it for. In the parameters, we're going to be listing Region 1 as Common Event 3, and Region 2 as Common Event 4. But you can set these to whatever Common Event ID you wish. If, for whatever reason, you might need to override these settings, there's a nice little blurb about it in the help file. But for this example, what we have set up here will be fine. Click OK, and head over to the Common Events tab in the database. Region 1 is set to call Common Event 3, so we'll be naming Common Event 3, Steps Now. Now, you could just place your sound effect here and be done with it. But having the same one sound effect play over and over might get a little boring. So instead, we'll be doing a little bit extra. Create a variable. For this example, we'll be using variable 16, step sounds. We have two different snow sound effects that can be played. So we're going to set the variable to random, zero, and one. This will make it so when we touch the tile, it'll choose whether to play the first or the second sound effect. Click OK. Beneath that, let's create a conditional branch. Select our step sounds variable and set the constant to zero. Then click OK. Within the branch, we're going to play our first snow sound effect. With that set, copy and paste the conditional branch. Change the step sounds variable to constant one, then click OK. And then change the sound effect to the second snow sound. Now, if you look at our map, we have a nice little path. It's not completely covered in snow, so we're going to give it a slightly different sound. We're going to copy our step snow common event and paste it into the fourth common event slot. I've actually decided to keep the original snow sound effects in, but make them quieter so they aren't the main focus. Next, we'll be adding our other sound effect, a much harder sound. We'll be adding the first pavement sound effect at a higher volume under the first branch, and the second pavement sound under the second branch, again at the normal volume. With that complete, click OK. Now there's just one last thing to do. To make these actually take effect, we'll need to set the region ID on your map. Below your tile selector thing, click R, and select one at the top. Use this to cover all the snowy areas, the ones you want the snow sound to play on. When we're done, let's select region ID two and cover the path with it. And with everything nice and numbered off, let's test it. Yay, because walking on real piles of snow wasn't bad enough. Now you can do it in your game. <laughs> Now, all I need is an actual footprints plugin, and this would be perfect, because trying to invent it didn't quite work. <laughs> anyway, if you have any tutorial requests, feel free to ask me in the comments. I'll also be swapping around my video release schedule a bit for the next two weeks to accommodate playing some demos. So make sure to check back often. Until next time, later gamers!